What's up guys, it's uh, Oscar the Truck Guy here. We are about to replace these um, lower control arm bushings on my 81C10. So I tried to do this yesterday. I don't have any power tools, so it didn't really work out for me. But I went out to uh, Harbor Freight yesterday and bought this thing right here. And I bought a bunch of uh, impact sockets. And here's the... Uh, bushings that we're going to replace and we're just going to try to do the uh, passenger side today uh the reason i'm only doing the passenger side today is because i need my truck for tomorrow so hopefully i can knock it out before the uh sun goes down it's uh 10 54 here in uh arizona so it gives me a good amount of time before the sun goes down so let's see what happens So I've got the uh, truck up on jacks, jack stands. So uh, time to remove the wheel and get started. I've seen a lot of people uh, remove these uh, control arms the whole way, all the way off, and then just take them to their uh, little workbench. But I'm gonna try to see if I can uh, get those bushings done without removing the whole control arm if that's possible if i have to go the whole control arm route oh well i have to then but if i don't good for me it'll save me some time so i've got the uh, wheel off this is the side that's been squeaking giving me problems my plan is to just remove this these two bolts up here, and then the same for this side. This side it's got two bolts up here, and hopefully, hopefully by just doing that, hopefully by just doing that, I could um, get that squeaking to stop. If not, I'm not sure where to go from here. I might look at the sway bar arm brushings, but. I got the uh, front end rebuilt not too long ago, so these bushings are kind of brand new. But um, we'll see what's up, get it figured out. So I'm back, uh, I got all the uh, screws and nuts taken off, I have been damaging this uh, thing with a um, drill and a drill bit, get it as weak as possible, so the next step here is to cut, we're gonna cut this thing right here, so hopefully this can come out that way, this can come out that way, so we'll see what happens, I'll keep you guys updated.
so I'm back again and uh, you guessed it I could have cut the uh, arm the lower control arm while I was under there but it's just too dangerous so I just ended up removing it got it right here here's the one I drilled into I'm gonna be getting this off here and just hoping for the best uh, here I am I'm gonna walk to the truck show you guys uh, the mess I have over here it's not too big of a mess I can get it tightened up by tonight so uh, stay tuned so uh, safety is my main concern gotta get some safety goggles cause we about to start cutting this shit going So I just uh, cut myself. For a while I thought the uh, blood wasn't gonna stop, but it doesn't look as uh, doesn't look as bad as I thought it was. So we should be good in about like five more minutes. So here we are. And uh, I give up on this thing. I got a new used one from my buddy. Follow him on uh, Instagram if you don't already. It's uh, Hot Rods and Customs by Jack. So um, got that one. This new one's trash. Don't care about it anymore. So let's go install this. So after pretty much cutting my finger, trying to take off the uh, old control arm bushings, uh, we decided to go with that used control arm that my buddy had, and we have it installed. Got my hand, got all dirty, but hope it's worth it. Let's give it a try and see if it squeaks. This is the final test. Let's see. No more squeaking. 